I'm Beth, I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to use Skittles to show you how we can create some fractions. So say we have a big pile of Skittles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great, we've got 12 Skittles. Now say if we have 12 Skittles, that's the whole amount that we have. And in that case, it is our denominator. It is the number that goes in the bottom of your fraction. So the entire amount, the whole, of equal parts is your denominator number. Okay, great. So say you get one Skittle. You get one little Skittle. You have one twelfth. Okay. If you get two Skittles, then you have two twelfths. 2 twelfths could also be seen another way because 2 twelfths is equivalent to 1 sixth. How does that work? Well, it works mathematically because you can divide 2 by 2 and 12 by 2. 2 divided by 2 gets 1, 12 divided by 2 gets 6, but you could also see it in the matrix we have here because we could also say that the whole is made out of 6 sets. So that the whole here is actually 6 and these blue squares represent those six. Yeah? Uh, another fraction you could make, instead of having 12, what if we had three of them? What would our denominator be? If I had three of these, what would the batches look like? Let me see if I can draw some, some squiggly oranges around. So we've got three here inside. I'm getting three. What, per, what fraction of the whole is that? Well, here's three more here. Okay, here's three more here. Here's three more here. How many orange sets do I have? One, two, three, four. I've got three of the four whole sets. It's equivalent to three-fourths. So that's how we can see a group of Skittles as an assortment of fractions. Uh, happy eating and happy fractioning. I'm Beth.